Hey everybody, this is Chris Nelson at Go Engineer, and for today's video, we are going to go over drawing templates in general, talking about drawing templates and sheet formats. So when we're talking about templates and drawings, there's two main parts of this. We have drawing templates and we have the sheet formats, and I will quickly show the difference between those two. So if we come up here and start a new drawing, just do it right here, new drawing. You can see that we are immediately greeted with this prompt for sheet format and the size. So if we look at this box right here, you can see we have all these different options. We have the A, ANSI landscape, ANSI portrait, B, just all these different things for sheet format. And as you can see, the things that are modified by the sheet format are just the things that are displayed. Different boxes are shown, there are different sizes, and there are different orientations for the sheet. So if we go into the A ANSI landscape sheet format, I'll just exit out of model view real quick. You can see that it's just a normal sheet and there are many different options we have. It'll show the name of the sheet, it'll show the size, scale underneath that, weight, sheet number, and you can add specific appearances and specific information like that. So the sheet format is formatting the things that you actually see in your drawing. Now, if we exit out of this, we can talk about the drawing template. So when we open up a new file, we only have one drawing template right now, which is the base drawing template. It is a completely blank slate, and by opening it, because it's default, this drawing template does not have a specified sheet format. So again, we choose the sheet format, we go in, and the drawing template, instead of modifying this information here that we see on the sheet, it changes the document properties. So if we come to the document properties, we can choose things such as the drafting standard, the annotations, the units used, the line font, line style, line thickness, the image quality, just all of these different options that maybe aren't shown in the final product, but are very important to effectively using CAD software. So if we want to create a new drawing template, what we do is we just man manually modify the settings we need to change. So I can come into document properties again and pretend we want to use the ISO drafting standard. And we want to use the IPS form for units with the inches, pound, and seconds. And of course we can change every single option that we would like, but once we are happy with those document properties that we can change, that we have changed, come up to file and go to save as. Now, if we come to this drop down bar, we can choose drawing template. It is a DRW DOT file. Sorry about that. And now that that has been selected, we can call this the IPS drawing because it is in the IPS format. And you can name this whatever you would like. But now when I save this drawing template, if we close out this file and we open up a new one, now in the templates folder right here, we have IPS drawing. And when we click it, it will bring us straight to the screen. Because if you remember, we already selected the A and C landscape style sheet format. So a drawing template can contain a sheet format inside of it. Alternatively, we can make our own sheet format. So I'm going to go back to the basic drawing style, this one right here. And again, we have the option to choose our sheet format. So let's use the B and C landscape format just for fun. I'm going to exit out of model view because I'm not adding any parts or assemblies. And for this sheet format, I want to get rid of this extra filler information right here. I want to keep the title, the size, and the drawing number, but get rid of these other parts. So 
when we are inside this edit sheet format option in the sheet format tab, you can just select these parts and hit delete to get rid of them. It functions as a normal sketch, so I can come in and add lines like this. I'm just going to add this line right here to make it look nicer. And I want to add the company name. So if we click a note right here, we can drag. We can drag and drop like this. And I'm going to type Go Engineer right here. There are also extra editing options we have right here. You can add leaders. You can change text however you want. I'm just going to keep it like this for right now, though. And once you're happy with your sheet format, come up here to File, and then come to Save Sheet Format. So I'm going to call this B Landscape Multiple Pages, and I will explain that in one second. So I have now saved the sheet format, but for the final for the final result, I do not want this to be my first page. So I'm just going to make another new drawing. Use the base drawing template. Um, this first page is going to be normal B land B and C landscape, but now pretend that we want to have multiple sheets in this drawing and the first sheet can have all this information like dimensions and these extra little boxes right here but we want that modified assembly we want that modified sheet format for the rest of the pages so again I'm going to exit model view and then if I click this add sheet button twice every time you do that it will just add a new sheet but by right clicking one of these you can click properties and it will let you change the sheet size and sheet format. Now, since I want to change sheets two and three, instead of doing them differently, I can select both of them so they both modify at the same time. And if we look in the sheet format box right here, it shows us all of the standard formats, which you are probably used to. However, if we uncheck the only show standard format box, it will also add custom formats, including our B landscape multiple pages format. Now that I've clicked that, when I click apply changes, it will apply this sheet format to sheets two and three. So if we look at the final product, sheet one has all of the information we need for the title sheet for this drawing. Sheets two and three are modified accordingly to add this extra information. I hope you found the SOLIDWORKS tutorial video useful. If you would like to continue improving your skills in SOLIDWORKS, Enroll in one of our online training courses at Go Engineer.